Pluto is an intriguing and enigmatic world that lies beyond Neptune within the Kuiper Belt. Although it was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, in 2006 it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. From the beginning, it seemed out of place. Its orbits intersect that of other planets, which is uncharacteristic of a planet, but this has not diminished interest in this remarkable celestial body. As we explore beyond Earth in search for life, Pluto emerges as an intriguing and possibly promising subject. Although traditionally not considered a place conducted to life, recent discoveries on its surface and beneath its ice shell have exceeded our expectations. Stunning images captured by New Horizons and the James Webb Space Probe are challenging our previous perceptions of Pluto, revealing as much more than just a dwarf planet. These discoveries have puzzled scientists because they don't fit what was considered of them. As we delve deeper into Pluto's hidden secrets, we are confronted with the questions about the size of this forgotten world in comparison to Earth. Is Pluto as small as 1 to the power 3, 4, 5, or 6 relative to Earth? This questioning invites us to reflect on the true nature and scale of Pluto in the cosmos. The theory of the existence of a liquid ocean beneath Pluto's frozen surface has gained support due to the presence of extensional fractures and the lack of significant craters in certain areas, suggesting more recent geological activity than expected. This idea is not new and it has been raised since 2006 in scientific publications, speculating on the possible existence of surface oceans on several celestial bodies beyond the gas giants including Pluto. However, the arrival of NASA's New Horizon mission in 2015 provided new details and stunning images that further stroked these speculations. When the probe reached Pluto, it offered the first detailed view for scientists of one of the solar system's most enigmatic objects, revealing a surface marked by a network fissures, as well as ice volcanoes and a huge heart-shaped basin. These discoveries have led some scientists to believe that there may have been even more surprising phenomena hidden beneath the surface. For example, analysis of the images revealed an icy basin called Sputnik Planum, located in a particular position almost exactly opposite Pluto's largest moon, Charon. Although this could simply be an accident, the odds are low, only 5% of those. Models suggest that when this basin formed, they may have been a surface ocean that played a role in shaping it. Later, nitrogen gas present in Pluto's atmosphere cooled and solidified in the frigid basin. The accumulation of additional water and ice generated a heavy load that tripped Pluto's into its present alignment. The notion of an ocean beneath the surface has been a persistent idea but images of Pluto's far side have strengthened the theory. Strong evidence have been found, including a feature called chaotic terrain, which consists of ridges, cracks, and disordered planes. This terrain is found on the opposite side of Pluto from the basin called Sputnik. Pluto scientists have observed similar phenomena on Mars, Mercury, and Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. At these locations, the collation of an asteroid or comet is suspected to have generated seismic waves that, converging on the opposite side of the body, have caused an effect similar to the chaotic terrain observed on Pluto. Alden Denton, a graduate student in planetary geology at Purdue University, simulated how an asteroid impact could send shockwave through the dwarf planet. These simulations presented virtually a scientific coherence suggest that such collision would only have been possible if Pluto had liquid ocean beneath its surface. Oliver White, a planetary scientist at the SETI Institute in California, conducted a geologic map of Pluto but did not participate in the aforementioned study. Although the feature observed on the far side appears similar to others seen in the solar system, the low resolution of the images leaves uncertainty. There is a consensus among other scientists that Pluto has geological peculiarities 
particularly a large amount of cracks on its far side that support the possibility of a hidden ocean and shed light on its possible origin. Theories about Pluto's ocean have long suggested that there was a frozen ocean that melted under the heat provided by radioactive elements on its rocky core. In this scenario, when the ice melted and the refroze in the cold basin, ripples created on the surface similar to the wrinkles that form in an apple left in the refrigerator. These wrinkles would have originated due to the contraction of ice as it melted and expansion as it froze, which created cracks in the surface. If this theory is accurate, images of Pluto should show older wrinkles and more recent cracks. However, the images from the New Horizons mission showed mostly cracks, suggesting that Pluto's surface oceans may have started out as liquid and then eventually froze. Observations from the New Horizons probe revealed a giant rift running across the near side of Pluto and appearing to the extent from the North Pole towards the South Pole on the far side of the dwarf planet. This feature, known as Pluto Rift, does not indicate a sudden change in the surface, but more likely a mark left by the continued expansion of the frozen ocean. The presence of water on Pluto is also suggested by observations of water on the near side of the planet, which shows signs of being impregnated with organic molecules. Although it may seem unlikely on a world like Pluto, laboratory experiments have shown that solar and cosmic radiation can create complex organic compounds, including bases present in RNA and DNA. These findings reinforce that the theory that Pluto could harbor organic molecules and potentially support life. In addition, the probe's observations revealed a red band at Pluto's equator possibly composed of organic material and corresponding to a region within the greater solar exposure and warmer temperatures. This finding is important because it indicates the presence of liquid water and organics on Pluto, two key ingredients for life. On the other hand, some UFO hunters have suggested the presence of artificial structures on Pluto, pointing out anomalies in images of the dwarf planet such as a smoky trail visible on the surface. Although NASA attributes this anomaly to natural phenomena, some believe it could be evidence of the existence of extraterrestrial life on Pluto. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button, share it to it reaches more people, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.